Hopefully I'll be able to take everything. Alright. Sorry, it's too noisy. So it's a Sunday, so there isn't too much traffic. So I think it's relatively safe to run uh, near the highway. I'll just set up my phone. Uh, and turn on GPS so I can track how far I am. Uh, the plan is just to run as far as I can. I haven't been running for like four months, so <laughs> I'll just do my best. So I got my Spotify on and a couple of bills on an old sandwich bag. I've been using this for at least five years, so <laughs> I like reusing stuff. I wonder how far I can go. Let's go. I'm at the first 500 meters so far so good <laughs> I've been tagged already <laughs> I used to run like usually 10 kilometers Usually less than one hour some one hour but those days are gone <laughs> but you have to start back not a zero, but somewhere muscle memory would kick it. All right, taking looking at the trees. They caught parts of the trees because uh, the lines they're touching the lines, and for safety, they're cutting those. I wish we have underground electricity lines. So you can keep the trees really nice and tall. These trees are older than me. So it's a nearby university. I want to teach there someday. Hopefully this year. So if there's any, any work that I don't hate. Yeah, I would do for free. It's teaching five weeks management subjects. I like problem solving subjects because uh, it doesn't take too much effort to teach it, and it's very practical. Usually, it's about money, and I like money. Sometimes the conceptual subjects like marketing, they're okay, but there's just too much terms they teach in school. And these terms usually don't mean anything in the real world. But I guess you have to start somewhere to understand marketing. So I guess I'm okay with that. I just really prefer problem solving subjects. They're more practical. 
Okay, so I'm at 1.5 kilometers and I spin. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk right now. So, how are you guys doing? How are your goals doing? Did you, did you get to get your goals last year, 2022? I certainly didn't achieve all of them. Well, my plan is to get a car this year and then go over my fear of traveling alone. I didn't get that in 2022, but I'm gonna buy a used car in the next couple of weeks and then try traveling alone and be a digital nomad for a while maybe just, maybe just a couple of days every month just try it out and then access to have enough money to start a passive income business i'm still not sure what that would be but yeah that's my goal for 2023 20, aside from that it's just to continue exercising and to be fit. I did journaling for quite a while now, three, four months. And, and then I was just keeping a day. I was very consistent. Except for this fucking January. I forgot to write something on the journal. So I'm really disappointed, but at the same time, I'm giving it a pass because it's just one day. I skipped it and it's almost a daily habit for me now it's the first thing I do after 12 midnight I usually go and journal just, just to start my day right how about you guys what daily habits are you trying to have or do I'm gonna go and run now I think the thing that I want to run 10 kilometers so I'll cover the distance of 10 kilometers for today let's see if I can make it if not that's okay because I'm just starting out again get a running buddy here Oops, stop. it gets lonely you know but I'm used to being lonely just that after quite a, a while of running you tend to start thinking of things I'm on automatic mode now I'm trying but not super side that I can go on and on without stopping and my head my mind starts to think clearly and later on I might get a runner's high but right now I'm tired but I'm really feeling good and I don't really running per se but this is what I'm looking for when I'm running Really can't explain it but you guys need to try it go run for more than two kilometers and you'll feel the same thing I think here's another school there's actually a hospital and a university at the same time there you go not my type very nearby it's about three kilometers from home yeah it's nice to have a few hospitals near home so we could get there earlier if there's an emergency bike her down bike her down I feel like those are just strangers trying to help out each other. That's usually what happens with 
runners and bikers here in the Philippines they help each other and when you get to uh, meet one you always greet them good morning I guess there's there's very very little runners now because it's late it's over 7 30 I think so not many more runners just bikers too much cutting kill the trees Actually, our Department of Public Works and Highway, they've been trying to cut these trees for the longest time, this road and road, and they've been very successful with it. Uh, it's, uh, according to the surveys, it's the number one most corrupt agency in the Philippines. And I tend to agree, you know, let's make some standard roads, so they can make new ones and get money from contractors from it. I hate that fucking DPWH. So here's a Coca-Cola factory. This was, there was some time last year where it shut down because sugar was, uh, there was shortage in sugar. Oh yeah. New runners here. Nice to have buddies. I don't have one, but like I said, I'm okay alone. I'm an only child. I'm really used to it. But I have a, if I have company, that's okay too. I'm going to turn around after this stoplight. Because I really don't like going any further I think I've got three kilometers maybe maybe not somewhere at that distance okay I'm turning around now I'll walk for a few seconds first I'm tired signs of aging shoes are Good so far, I didn't expect the comfortness at all. I actually expect the discomfort. But they feel alright. No, actually they're they feel good. It doesn't feel like I'm just breaking them in today. My earphones are <laughs> falling off because these aren't really for running. They're just regular earphones my uncle gave me here second hand so I don't really expect much from these as long as they work for music I go with that my hearing is not that good anyway I just remember that one of my goals is to since last year is to finish one book a week I didn't succeed so I'm trying to get the habit this year so <laughs> I'm reading this book I think I'm three four hours away from finishing it and it's Sunday here in the Philippines so I'm gonna have to finish that for today so I can start a new one tomorrow tomorrow Monday good luck to me I hope you guys are reading too so I'm walking right now and I'm really not super tired but I'm really mindful of my feet uh, we have a family history of people having arthritis, so I'm not sacrificing my feet too much. So even though I feel good, I'm I'm taking a, a few rests every few minutes. It's uh, it's not a race; it's a marathon. Not technically a marathon now, <laughs> but. I know you get my point. I did try a couple of marathons. I finished two as 42 kilometers or 26.2 miles. I want to do a, an ultra marathon in the future and probably go and try trial one before I go 40. But I still don't know how to. I still don't know how to swim. 
And I don't have a bike yet. But we'll get there. I didn't know there was a culinary school here. Looks old already. The things you don't know this way you're going too fast. It's there. Oh, there's the three guys again. I didn't go past them. They had a short break in a 7 Eleven. The two guys look really fit. I think uh, one in a middle is trying to become fit too. So that's nice. Get friends like that. Man, I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. But I won't eat it. Watch your way, guys. Watch your way. So, baby Elise is not my first child. She's my second one. I'm actually married and I have a daughter. She's, she's turning seven this year, January 31. And this is the church my mother-in-law goes to every year. And my wife left me. And my mother-in-law, father-in-law, they're keeping away my baby away from me. And I don't want to go to this church. Because so I know I will find my mother-in-law. Oops. <laughs> Earphone fell. Because in my dreams, I always, I kill them all, including the women and the children. So, for people who think I'm a super nice guy, I'm not. There's a lot of pent up anger in me. And I'm afraid I'm going to unleash it once I see my daughter. So, I'm purposely not looking for my daughter, but I hope when she gets a bit older she'll find out my real name that's why i have a youtube channel i want her to look for me just like just like how i look for my dad so vivian simone rocky if if you find this video in the future it's not that i never look for you i did I did. Your mother and her family, they hid you from me. Your grandmother is corrupt. So I hope when you grow up, you won't be like them. Your mother is too. I'm not lying. I don't lie. I love you, baby. sure how this looks on camera but I hope it looks good so my left earphone just fell in the canal I'm gonna have to buy a new set <laughs> so this proves I need to buy earphones specifically for for sports so don't do what I do <laughs> That was stupid. I just wanted to have music while running. Super stupid. Man, the, the sun is high up already. Look at that. It's a beautiful day. It's the first time the sun shone in a clear sky. Well, not so clear sky, but it's been raining for days. <laughs> so, it's really a welcome. This one's really welcome. I 
I'm a bit tired, but after the <laughs> episode, I feel good. And not everyone has the opportunity to be to feel happy, even though they don't feel too good physically. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So it's about I don't know what time it is. Maybe eight or eight thirty. I don't know. Traffic's pretty clear. It's usually already traffic on weekdays, so it's really ideal to just travel. So maybe in the future I'll be traveling every maybe Saturday and Sunday. I don't know. I just have to have that car first. I'm not too comfy riding my motorcycle because it always rains. I don't I really don't like getting wet. Oh we have a new Starbucks near home. It's uh rather large for the usual Starbucks here in the Philippines. This one has two floors. Yeah I really like it a lot. Let's just have a, a drive through. I think I'm at 7 kilometers, let me check. No, 6.59 <laughs> kilometers. I'll just finish at 7. A little over 7 maybe. And I'll go home. We didn't reach 10, but I did say I'm okay with that. Let's just do this gradually, I guess. Not her, but my feet hurt already. <laughs> That's why I'm walking now. I learn a bit more and then I'll stop. I don't want to sacrifice my feet yet. We'll drain for longer distances for sure. But for those who are just for those who are just starting out. You don't have to run all the way. You can just run walk. Run for one one minute and then walk for one minute. Then just do it intermittently. Just follow what your body dictates. Like marathons. You don't need to do sprints immediately. You don't have to be really fast immediately and cover long distance. You just have to be comfortable with what you're doing. Just do one kilometer for one day. Or maybe even 500, just 500 meters. That'll do. I used to only be able to run for one kilometer. And I'm super tired. My heartbeat would be like super high at 500 meters. I'm laughing at it right now, but we start somewhere, right? So let's build this up until we get run 42 kilometers again and then maybe try out an ultra marathon i'm not sure how i'll do it with a very busy schedule but if other people can do it i can do it. you can do it too yeah we have a lot of bikers today i think it's the safest time to bike too someday i'll i'll buy one I'll buy a nice one uh, that's eligible for competition but for now let's build up endurance first by running okay so we're at exactly a little over seven kilometers let's stop now and at 7 it's just right there let's buy a drink and then go home it's just three kilometers more I, I feel I still can do it 10 kilometers but I don't want to push it it's a first day so <laughs> yeah I'm tempted to run back and forth 1.5 kilometers and then go back 1.5 kilometers home 
but let's not push it. Let's just be thankful. It's Sunday. We're going to Mass later, online Mass. So guys, don't forget to thank God for today. It's really impressive. We might not achieve our goals today, but as long as we're alive, we still can do it. It's not too late. We don't know which one to buy yet. I think I'll go in. Who's gonna run this time this year? <laughs> <laughs> 